In this video, we'll talk about a category of application problems involving using calculus to maximize profit. A couple of things to remember in addition to the calculus concepts in these kind of problems are that revenue is price times quantity, and profit is revenue minus cost. You'll see how those come up in the problem in a second. So here's an example problem. We've got a price function, which is also sometimes thought of as a demand curve, a relationship between price and quantity. Here, lowercase p is price and x is quantity. And we've also got a cost function, which tells us the cost as a function of the number of items that we manufacture. And we're asked to know what price should we charge for these stereos in order to maximize profit. So our objective function is profit. Profit is the thing that we want to maximize. But the two functions that we were given were price and cost. So what we need to know is how to get from price and cost to profit. Well, remember those principles that we talked about before. Revenue is price times quantity. So revenue is going to be the price function times x, because x represents quantity. And then here we have our price function times x. And so here is our revenue curve. Profit is revenue minus cost, so we take that revenue function that we just figured out, minus the cost function that we were given, collect like terms, and we get a formula here for our profit function. So now we have our objective function, and now we're ready to use our calculus concepts. We take a derivative and look for critical values. This is a polynomial, so it's never undefined. Setting it equal to zero gives us x equals 490. We only found one critical value, so we're pretty sure that that's the one that we're looking for, but let's just make sure that it really is a maximum by using the second derivative test. We get that the second derivative is negative 2, and so that means that we do in fact have a maximum at x equals 490. But as with other application problems, we want to make sure that we really have answered our question. So what did, what did we figure out? We figured out that x has to be 490. But what does x represent? x was the quantity. So that means that the profit is maximized when we sell 490 units. But that's not what we were asked for. They asked us what price per unit must be charged in order to maximize profit. So that means we need to go back to our original formulas and use the price function, plug in x equals 490, and we get that little p, the price, is 510. So that means that we need to charge $510 for each stereo in order to maximize profit. That's the question that we were asked, and so that's the answer that we need to give.